Good morning from 401k Dexter's. This is Carrie. Sit up here in my uh, living room in front of the bird dog wall of fame there from our bird dogs uh, escapades running in bird dog trials. Uh, just wanted to throw together a quick video before I got online to work. I'm working from home today and then I'll be in the office for the rest of the week. This is my long week on our 980 schedule. So I uh, just wanted to throw this out there. I was thinking about this last night. Not too long ago, my sister, who is about four years older than me, started thinking about uh, retirement, started doing her planning. Um, when I went down to visit her and my mom, she had asked me about uh, not knowing exactly what her Social Security benefit was going to be. So I told her if she went on to uh, the Social Security website, she could establish a My Social Security account at ssa.gov so uh, i told her go ahead and log in then you'll get a second factor authentication on your text so they'll send you a code that you enter and then uh, terms of uh, service uh, agree a terms of service uh, message will pop up and then you can close that and then you can scroll down and uh, get to a point where it says review your full earnings record now and you click that and then there's a privacy statement that pops up and you can close that and then you see a tables of all your earnings history so uh, she was able to calculate out after looking at her earnings table another area on the website allows you to see what your estimated benefit would be you can also calculate out um, if you enter in i'm going to work so many more years uh, at a certain salary um, and that may or may not replace some of your earnings years to date in your calculation. So it helped her get an idea of what her uh, monthly benefit would be. So then she could look at her budget, uh, look at all her bills, see how that Social Security would enable her to uh, get by. So the other day, I took it upon myself, since we're at that phase of looking at retirement out on the horizon, and uh, I logged in and looked at my own earnings history and was impressed, I guess, uh, is how to put it. I didn't remember specifically, but then after looking at my records, it showed that my first earnings year was 1978, and I made $67. Now, in 78, I was 12 years old. The next summer, in 79, I had the same job and made $742. So that job that I held um, during my 6th and 7th grade year uh, in junior high was at a local golf course down the street. Um, a few of the neighborhood kids uh, were members there, and they would invite us down to go swimming at the country club swimming pool or uh, they would invite us as a guest to uh, go play a round of golf. I was just getting into golf. Uh, my stepdad was real big into it, um, but we couldn't afford to be members at the club, so it was nice to get an invite to go down there. And I was down there one day, and uh, one of the guys that I was hanging around said, hey, let's go knock some balls off of the driving range. So we went in and got a bucket of balls and um, went out to the driving range and knocked them down range. And then when we went to put the basket up, I asked the guy, I said, um, hey, you know, do you have any part-time work here? You know, it's the summertime. I'm looking to make a little bit of money. And he said, sure. He said, if you want to come down, he said, you can uh, get one of these plungers and go out on the driving range and pick up all the golf balls and bring them back, put them in the bin. So that way, when members come in to get a bucket of balls, they've got plenty and I don't have to break away from the pro shop to uh, go pick up balls. So it was uh, a convenient um, thing for me to do, but uh, I thought what was interesting about the job was I got perks or benefits for working at the golf course, and that was that I could go down and play twilight golf in the afternoon. So after a certain time, when it gets to the point where you can't fit 18 holes in by the time the sun goes down, you can go play as many holes as you can play before it's too dark to see the ball. So me and a few of the friends that were members there would meet in the afternoon after you know all the members had gotten off the course and uh, we would play till dark. So that was, to me, uh, more of a benefit 
than you know getting pay at the golf course because again we couldn't afford the membership dues at the country club but it got me thinking that uh, when you're looking at your earnings history um, kind of do a little bit of reflection on where you were and how far you've come um, going back through that list again I could see you know when I was working at 12 and 13 years old um, then I think I took a year off and then I had a job part-time uh, during my ninth and 10th grade year working at a uh, RV camp um, at the lake resort. So I would go in and I would clean out the trash in the campsite. Um, I would uh, help people rent boats. Um, I would do a lot of the mowing and the weed whacking around the campsite. So a lot of physical labor, but uh, very humble beginnings. So when I look at the 401k balance, and our IRA balance, and uh, my pension after working at the company for 25 years, uh, it really hits home as to how far um, I've come from uh, working at a golf course, um, picking up golf balls. So uh, do yourself a favor, get on ssa.gov, um, take a look at your earnings history, uh, explore the site, um, when you create your account, you know, you'll have access to it whenever. Um, they encourage you to go in and confirm your earnings every year. 